r slash ask reddit what thing from the 90s do you think should make a comeback the economy i'm voting for clinton bill clinton the part where i was a kid and had no responsibilities and played awesome video games i'm 32 i still do that you forgot the part about having no responsibilities. I still play awesome games but it's at night for usually around 2 hours. I never can truly say I'm done with responsibility. There is always something to do, work on, learn, or read. But neglecting what you enjoy is just as bad. So I game when I feel I can say my day is done. Chat rooms. Yeah they were lame and silly but I had some great drunken piss my pants chats way back when. Funny how they just fell out of favor. They were entertaining and chaotic as duck. They are also how I met my husband. 90s romance. Mother duckers. I got herpes through Yahoo. LAN parties. Playing games online is fine but there's something really great about being in the same room with a bunch of your friends. Connecting your PCs. Ordering a ton of pizza. And just gaming for 48 straight hours or whatever. LOL. Carrying around a 50 pound computer and a huge CRT monitor, and oh god the heat. Hope you guys are hungry I just threw a tray of bagel bites on the table between all our computers. They should be done in 5 minutes. 90s old rock. Girls wearing those string top things. Red shoe diaries. Those sweaters with the large neck openings that exposes one of the shoulders and teases you into thinking that it might drop low enough to see the girl's boob. Crash Bandicoot games. It deserves a proper new game. Reminiscent of the original trilogy. Liberal usage of the word. Rad. I never gave this word up. I made a point to use it regularly. Along with. Gnarly. Righteous. Excellent. And various other types of exclamations. Tubular never really applied to me. But every once in a while it gets thrown in the mix to freshen things up. Dude. Bodacious toys and cereal boxes. God, my nephew is missing out on those. I used to get computer game demo discs. That's how I first played Heart of Darkness. Yep, found that morbid ass shit in a Choco Pops box. Good times. Fresh prints, but Will is the uncle now. And Colton is played by Ben Carson. And Young Thug as Hillary. A decent Star Trek series. The original was good. But next generation was just ducking awesome. At least once you got into it. I didn't like the first few episodes BC I thought the new characters were weird but I really liked it after about season 1 episode 5 or so. My ability to eat whatever the hell I wanted without gaining weight. If you duck like a teenager. Walk everywhere because no one can drive. Carry a 20 pound backpack everywhere. And work out enough to compensate for the fact you aren't passively growing taller. You still can. But that sounds like work. So duck it and have another beer. Oh yeah. Emotionally triggered eating was probably less of thing as a teen too. Unsolved mysteries. Robert Stack and that intro music always freaked me the duck out. That show had me convinced I was going to be abducted by aliens. Massive super suckers. Why are water guns so shite now? I had the Super Soaker 3000 which had a backpack that was so heavy when filled someone else would have to put it on you and I could only walk like an encumbered person in Skyrim felt like someone slapped you as hard as they could when you got hit with it. And in like 2 shots later and a shitload of pumping later and you were running on empty. Legends of the Hidden Temple. Chris Farley and Phil Hartman. 3D Doritos. I miss these every day. My wife and I found these new Doritos jacked 3D and they aren't even close. I saw 3D on a Doritos bag and almost passed out in the grocery store. Bought them. Opened them on the way to the car. And was pissed off. They sucked. Nothing will ever beat those puffy, delicious, crunchy, airy bastards. We still have them in Mexico. They are great. The internet. I feel sad for people who didn't get to experience what it was like before web 2.0 and the corporate takeover. It was like the digital wild west and it was glorious. ICQ. Pow wow. Ike. Refresh base chat rooms. That period just before broadband when you had to really like what you were downloading because it would take ages. Well that was cool too but I'm not really getting nostalgic about the old technology as much as the overall feel and environment. There were not ads everywhere, 
You weren't being tracked constantly, so many web pages by individuals instead of companies. Social media didn't dominate, you weren't being sold around every corner, etc. Information just felt so much more free and unregulated. It was an exchange of ideas, hobbies, interests not just a place to make money. Believe it or not back then if you used a search engine to look up a something that could be considered a product, you'd get information on that product not a bunch of links to buy it. Search engines were there to serve you information, not serve you products. Now they are mostly glorified yellow pages. It's hard to put into words but I can say the web of today hardly resembles the web back then and not in a good way. It was like a playground and everyone with the know-how to navigate it was welcome. It's like most things. There's a tipping point where you get too many people involved and degradation occurs. Too long didn't read. This is what happened to the internet. Airport security. Anyone could walk through security and would just empty out their pockets into a tray. My grandfather had polio as a kid so always had a metal brace to help him walk. He used to just point at it to the security guard and he'd walk on through. Then he'd walk us to the gate, hugs goodbye and then go back to the curb where he parked his car with the hazard lights on. Airport security so crazy now. Kids were still kids back then and parents let them be kids. I was always out after dark in the summer and I rarely let my mother know where I was. Not because she didn't care, because she trusted me. You fell and hurt yourself on the playground. Unfortunate accident. Nowadays it's the school's fault and if my precious child get hurt then nobody should have any fun. Duck. Parents. Eiffel 65. I'd like to see what other colors they could sing about. Magenta placenta. TGIF shows. TGIF shows and thin crust cheese pizza from Pizza Hut is every Friday night of my childhood. I throw in a trip to a movie rental place to rent some VHS tapes and maybe a NES game. I'll instantly transport back in 1994. That was the 90s kid equivalent of cracking open a beer at the end of a hard week. Your reward for putting up with all that class and homework and bedtimes and all that shit was some harmless light-hearted fun on TV. A movie in your house that you got to pick. And a hot pizza that was more than you could hope to finish by yourself. You were shifting gears and you were doing it hard. 060 like that. And that's not even factoring in that after you stayed up late. When you woke up there were high concept cartoons on. And after that the sun was out and you could go out and do whatever you wanted. An American space program. It's coming. Just give it a few more years. Between NASA and SpaceX things are about to start getting really exciting. Ripped jeans, band t-shirt, and an unbuttoned over shirt as standard dress. There's a good chance you just described 95% of redditors. Clean, cheap LSD, edit, I do just fine poking around, lol. For the folks who lived through the 90s, you know it was a very different time, in my neck of the woods. $5 per hit, meaning a 100 microgram-ish hit, was a pretty set price. My, um, college friends did a lot of work buying $100 sheets, meaning a sheet measuring 10x10 of 100 hits, and cutting those up. There were other price point deals, the most common being a 10 strip for $20 or $30. If you needed to spend more than $10 for a trip, you were a great customer for a not so great seller. It's hard for people to fathom it now, but those hits were some good chemistry. We would fuss over them, like I want the hit with the extra little sliver on it, or I don't want that much. Give me those smaller ones. It was well known that this was strong, clean stuff we were handling. It still amazes me that something so small can get you so high. To this very day, I still feel thankful for those experiences. I have two very big problems with the way things are today. The first is research chemicals and fly-by-night synthetics. I've had some of these. These have muddied the waters and added a lot of potential problems to the process of people trying to experience something amazing. I'd, much, much rather those people get real, good, safe LSD than end up being someone else's guinea pig. If that's your path, please get reagents. Get the most accurate scale you can. Do your research. Be smart. The other problem I have is that we haven't made any progress on lessening the legal punishments for LSD. The federal government thinks of it as a felony. I think of it as a sacrament. That's the way it's always been. Those two opposing viewpoints haven't found any common ground. 
I really thought we'd be closer to drugs as a human right by now. LSD is an amazing thing, but for most of its existence it's been locked in a dark box. I get sad thinking about it. In other words, I want the kind of stuff I had back then to be accessible to anyone who wants it. I don't see that. I see a lot of different drugs. I see a lot of fear and uncertainty. I understand that progress has been made in certain dark corners. But I still feel like humanity deserves so much better. Too long didn't read. May good LSD find you. And you. And you. Damn right. I'm tired of these modern cars with their computer controlled traction magic. I want plain old limited slip differentials back. Oh yeah. And also good acid. The skate punk grunge craze. The lack of Facebook. Delete it. Arcades. I don't understand why online gaming led to the disappearance of the arcade. They should still be here. It was basically the club for nerds. I stay right next to a Dave and Busters but the games are so old. With the tech we have now developers should be taking advantage of all these kids that are into gaming now. Gaming is deeply ingrained into every culture now. Especially with these tablets apps. We need another arcade revolution. Showing up when you make plans with someone instead of texting 5 minutes before the meeting time and saying you aren't coming. 90s music. God damn it what a great decade to be alive for music. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.